Hello, it's Shayna from EspressoEnglish.net and today is the final day of our Phrasal Verbs Challenge. We've covered a lot this week, but there are still many more phrasal verbs to learn. You can do that inside my Phrasal Verbs in Conversation course. The lessons in that course teach phrasal verbs through dialogues, so you can easily see how native English speakers use them when speaking. Click on the link in the video description to learn more and to sign up for Phrasal Verbs in Conversation. Let's get started with our challenge questions. Try to figure out the meaning of a phrasal verb from the sentence and after a few seconds I'll show you the right answer. Number one, my manager delegated some very important client projects to me, saying he trusts me to carry them out. Carry out means A. Be respectful B. Remove or C. Perform a task. The correct answer is C. Perform a task. Carry out is another way to say implement something, perform a task. We can also use it for following instructions, carrying out someone's orders or commands, meaning doing what the person told us to do. Number two. I really want to buy some new clothes, but I'm holding out for a good deal during the holiday sale next month. Holding out for means A. Excited about B. Searching for or C. Waiting for something better. The correct answer is C. Waiting for something better. If you are holding out, it means you're waiting, and it also has the sense of resisting or refusing to do something until you get what you really want. So, in this case, I'm resisting my desire to buy new clothes until I get the really good price I want, so I'm holding out for a good deal. Number three, we barely caught our flight. We thought we were on time, but we hadn't bargained on having to wait in such long lines at airport security. Bargained on means a. Avoided, B. Expected, or C. Negotiated. The correct answer is B. Expected. If you bargain on something happening, it means you expect or you anticipate that it will happen. Maybe you even depend on it happening. For example, I'm bargaining on everyone bringing drinks to the party, meaning I expect them to bring drinks and depending on that expectation because if they don't bring drinks, then we won't have any. Number four, everyone made lots of noise and managed to drive the bear away from the campground. Drive away means A, cause to leave, B, escape in a vehicle, or C, stay at a distance. The correct answer is A, cause to leave. It's true that if you drive away in a car, it means you use your car to go away from a place. But if you drive something away or drive someone away, it means you do something that scares them or repels them and causes them to go away to a greater distance. Number five, I can see you've been practicing or listening because your comprehension is improving. Keep it up. Keep it up means A. Continue B. Set a higher goal or C. Think positively. The correct answer is A. Continue. You'll often hear the phrase keep up the good work encouraging someone to continue performing well. Number six. When I was a child, my dad would promise he'd come watch my sports games, but he nearly always let me down. Let me down means A. Disappointed me B. Discouraged me or C. Lied to me The correct answer is A. Disappointed me If you let someone down, it means you disappoint that person. Often when you fail to do something that you said you would do or fail to do something that the other person expected of you. Number seven, that popular show is now sold out and you got the last two tickets? You really lucked out. Luck out means A, be smart, B, be very fortunate, or C, wait too long.
The correct answer is B, be very fortunate. We use the phrasal verb luck out when someone has especially good luck. They are very fortunate in a specific situation. Number eight, my son has been moping around ever since he broke his wrist and had to miss the rest of his baseball season. Moping around means A, be depressed or in a bad mood, B, moving with difficulty or pain, or C, not talking to anyone. The correct answer is A, be depressed or in a bad mood. If you're moping around, it means you're spending time being sad or upset without any positive energy. Number nine, no matter how many times I perform in front of a large audience, I can't seem to shake off my anxiety before I step onto the stage. Shake off means A, do something frightening, B, free yourself of something annoying, or C, make small movements. The correct answer is B, free yourself of something annoying. Think about shaking a blanket or towel to get dirt or sand off of it. To shake off a feeling or shake off a minor injury means you get free of it by choosing to ignore it or deciding to change your attitude. Number 10, wait, don't publish that article yet. The editor-in-chief hasn't signed off on it. Sign off on means A, give an approval, B, made a contribution or changes, or C, read carefully. The correct answer is A, given approval. For this phrasal verb, imagine someone signing a contract. That would mean they officially give approval. But to sign off on something, we don't need to literally write our name on it. Sign off on just means to say we approve of it. This brings us to the end of our phrasal verbs challenge. I hope you've enjoyed it and learned a lot. We covered 50 phrasal verbs in five days, so make sure you also go back and review the lessons to help you remember them better. And like I said before, your learning doesn't have to stop here. You can keep going and learn 500 more phrasal verbs by joining my Phrasal Verbs in Conversation course. Make sure to check that out if you want to master these phrasal verbs that we use so frequently. Thanks again for joining me for the Phrasal Verbs Challenge. We'll move on to other topics next week, so I'll say goodbye for now, and I'll talk to you in the next video.